the epitome of glamour and ability, Eve Torres. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Denver, Colorado, Eve Torres. Eve is a natural born competitor who possesses crazy athleticism and an amazing in-ring IQ. Eve Torres is the real deal. Eve Torres, an expert at finding weakness and exploiting it. A woman who turned her back on the WWE Universe and never looked back. It was the best decision she ever made. Laying people out with a smile and a pose. We are about to bear witness to the Queen. Listen, here is a truly generational talent. There's no doubt about that. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! The personification of majestic elegance, a fearless defender of her crown. She says everyone will bow down to her. There's no question Charlotte is WWE royalty, but Charlotte often lacks compassion for those around her. Well, that comes with the territory when you've been superior hey, oh. most of your life. Flair says she's proud to be a queen, and she should be celebrated. Well, Flair will also embarrass and humiliate those who choose not to fall in line. Pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. As a second-generation superstar, Charlotte Flair has made a concerted effort over the years to forge her own path here in WWE. But you can't deny the influence that her father has had on her career. An expert planner, a mastermind even, like Charlotte's, didn't just pick that talent up off the street. A fair point. No matter your thoughts on her method, Charlotte has thrived both in and out of the ring, in large part due to her ability to scheme and connive. And her opponent, Eve Torres, has been somewhat of a controversial superstar in certain circles. People just don't like how Eve goes about her business. And to those people, I say, grow up. In this business, it's every woman for herself. Eve just learned that better and quicker than most. And no matter what you think about it, you can't argue with the results. Face Buster delivered. And the cover for the win. This is it. Fights the shoulder up in one. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. We all know Charlotte has all the tools to any match she competes in, but Corey, can you think of any specific strategy for her tonight? Cole, you're absolutely right about Charlotte already having all the tools. She needs to focus and remember that, which honestly shouldn't be a problem for her. She's Charlotte Flair. Into a double knee drop. Lock it in, the dragon sleeper. This would be an amazing upset. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Oh, and that will keep Torres at bay. It seems like Eve's struggling to handle her business. That unfolded just as Charlotte planned, showing she's not just brawn, she's brains. Oh, that hurt. Torres spins that off. 
look at this. Oh, from the rope. Charlotte now showing off her wide arsenal. Great focus thus far from the Queen. Charlotte is using every tool at her disposal thus far. Charlotte continuing to act. She's going for it. This could be. Absolute power. It doesn't get any closer than that without the bell ringing. Torres surprises her. Eve managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Brief sign of adrenaline from Eve. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. An uninterrupted surge against Torres here. Charlotte displaying all of her ability. <laughs> oh my, dragon screw into the ankle breaker. Strong takedown there. And up the turnbuckles we go. Lift off. safe when you face such a risk taker. One kick. Two kick. Couple of kicks and a debilitating clothesline delivery. And a slap for the exclamation point. He turns it right around with a counter. And now thrown back into the ring. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Into a sidewalk slam. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Charlotte has flight in mind. Up high. Figure four locked in. Charlotte gonna look for the bridge. There she it does. Is. Charlotte Flair can taste. Charlotte Flair wins. <laughs> what a win. Charlotte with the victory. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair! And she walks away with a big win. Oh yeah, it's Charlotte standing victorious. All hail the queen. Throw down here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E. Big E doesn't care how bad you think you are. He'll take on anyone. Bring his smash mouth style to the ring. Biggie will crush your own dreams before your very eyes. Gentlemen, the final grain of sand in the hourglass has fallen.
two things left for the competition to do tonight. Fall and pray. for action and ready to take control the way only Big E can with the power of positivity and of course the literal power and strength that only Big E possesses. We'll see if Big E can utilize the strength in this matchup. For the win! He breaks the ref's count after one. All the punishment he's taken and yet he's still in this match? On! Shots and elbows and forearms. Look at this, deadlifting their opponent into a, a gun wreck suplex, but not done yet. Holding on for another a second gut wreck suplex. Oh my goodness. serious once the bell rings and once he does there is perhaps no one more dangerous than Big E. He knows how to get serious Cole but that doesn't always necessarily mean he will tonight. Big E needs to focus, needs to keep his head on a swivel. He can swivel his hips after the match. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. And Cross's path to destruction gets put on hold there. Yeah Big E really took control right there. Just a deadlift into a back suplex. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Still only got one. He's still got more left in the tank. Look at this. Snap suplex. Big four. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great win. Right down your opponent. And he's debilitating four. Strikes. Good night. And you guys, I, I see blood coming from Big E's face. Oh. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Setting up for something here. My He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Uh, is he? Yeah! Powerbomb! And now Big E is under immense pressure. Yeah, Big E needs to find that spark. And he gets delivered back into the ring. <laughs> Carrying Cross just toying with the crowd now, too.
Ricochet. Exhilarating and inspiring. And yeah, one of the most gifted aerialists in our industry. You're right, Byron, but Ricochet knows flying around can only take you so far, which is why Ricochet also possesses a very impressive power game. Well, there is one guarantee. Ricochet knows how to captivate the WWE Universe. The Beast is here. Time for a beatdown, cowboy style. And his opponent, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! Brock Lesnar's been a dominant force his entire career. Brock Lesnar has made a career out of steamrolling whoever has dared get in his way. Brock Lesnar's won multiple WWE and Universal title reigns. King of the Ring, the Royal Rumble, and Money in the Bank. And perhaps the most dominant competitor in WWE history. Lesnar's crushed countless champions and legends throughout his storied WWE career. I got a real strong feeling we're gonna see more of that dominance courtesy of the Beast Incarnate. With the ring of the bell, Brock Lesnar is looking to get things going here. Possibly one of the most destructive forces we've ever seen in WWE. We know the lengths the Beast is willing to go to to secure the victory. Well said, Cole. Lesnar has been a dominant force in every realm he's stepped foot in. The pure athleticism and desire to win is what makes him so destructive. Well, that is his inhuman size and strength. We can sit and discuss what makes Brock Lesnar such a force all night, but I'm expecting he'll show us in the ring soon enough. And you look at Ricochet, this guy is super impressive in the ring. Exceptionally athletic, clearly innovative, but he knows he still has plenty left to prove. And he sets out to do that every time the bell rings. Oh, he knew what was coming. Watching Ricochet, how crucial is it for him to find his kind of fight? What giants are in the world, power Ricochet is to aerial combat. Redefining it every night he steps in the ring. Ricochet should not be shy about doing what he does best. He went right into that turnbuckle. Vicious knee. Pools treading all over the opponent. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Ricochet just so unpredictable. to the gut. Ah, oh, setting them up for Fisherman's Buster. Wait, what's Lesnar doing going to the top rope? From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. That's gotta be it. Two. How in the world did he kick out there? Every kick out taking so much energy to muster. a counter for Lesnar. And Ricochet isn't looking helpless anymore. But Ricochet has to... Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Oh, Hoping to end it here. This is it. Makes the cover. This man can withstand anything to survive the page torn from his own playbook. Ricochet is really going to have to show his heart here. Needs to keep the pressure on. Ricochet is a moving target. Huge toss. Planning on what to do next. Huge drop right in the face. And Ricochet getting from 
completely grounded there. And such forceful velocity behind every one of Lesnar's attacks. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Vicious right forearm. starting this match. Man, it's just a little friendly warm-up before the match. There is nothing friendly about jumping someone when they're not looking, Corey. Oh, Boom. nice. <laughs> what are we going to see here? Oh, neck breaker. <laughs> Set up for the... for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. It has to be demoralizing to just get slapped like that. If that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. And Jimmy able to reverse that. Effective arm drag. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Oh, uh, jawbreaker! Call it Dennis. Kobe Kingston looks stunned by that. Strong display from main event Jey Uso. 
But he'll be hitting the showers if he shows off too long. Yes, tag! Jumping clothesline! What agility! What a headbutt. In off the tag. Woods gets 
gets him back. Hoist it up. Snap suplex. Tag made. Kofi with the setup. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bush, ruthless striking. All the way up. Oh, no. Good night. The Doom Buster. And that's the tag to Kofi Kingston.
absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. And he tosses it back in now. And that's the tag to Kofi Kingston. longer his partner could have lasted. A drop kick in the corner. Perfectly executed. Oh, a wicked kick to the lower back. What, what do you say? I mean, this, this, is, this is amazing. Ooh. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. That's a free throw.
Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Here are your winners, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos! All it took was that unexpected sneak attack, but with that tipping the scales, they capture the win. It's gotta hurt having a potential win stolen from you like this. Hey, they could have launched a surprise attack of their own. That's on them. That might just be one of the craziest things you've ever said.